come on, one more step? So I make an account and exchange that I trust. I go through the thousands of coins out there and I find a project I'm excited about, Cardano. I invest some money in buying the coin, ADA. Then I find out that what I should really do is to be responsible, I should take the coins off of the exchange and have them on a hardware wallet that I own so that it's my keys and my coins. So I do that. I get everything all set up, I load up Ledger Live, and then it turns out that I have to choose between three different wallet interfaces to manage the coins that I have on my Ledger. This is a bit too much. Don't worry, I get it, we've all been there. It's not that bad, they're easy to go through, and we'll help you find which wallet is right for you. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the three most popular Cardano wallets that are out there. All three of them will help you manage the UI of the transactions for your hardware wallets, and two of them we recommend if you don't yet have a hardware wallet, but you're thinking about just getting your coins off of the exchange and wanna have something that you have full custody over in the meantime. It's actually a pretty straightforward process. Each of them has their strengths and weaknesses, and we'll walk through all of them, where to find them, how to get them set up, and then we'll link you off to videos once you've chosen one on how to get everything transferred over and get delegating. Let's jump in. All right, so first things first, let's look at where we are, right? We either have a hardware wallet that we've just finished setting up, and we intend to store our ADA on that hardware wallet, but now we need to find a wallet UI interface that can help us manage the transactions, sending, receiving, and delegating. Or we don't yet have the hardware wallet, but in the meantime, what we'd like to do is we'd still want to have a way to get our funds off of the exchange in a way that has a wallet that we can manage locally, such that we are the only ones that have the private keys and we have full custody over our own ADA coins, right? So there are three main options that we can choose from. What we'll do is let's first uh, talk about each one at a high level, just introduce you to what the three options are. And then from there, we'll dive a little bit deeper. So um, let's start first with, uh, we'll go from, from heaviest to lightest in terms of the, um, I, like, literally how heavy the, the, the actual interfaces and, and, and the programming is on them. So first is Daedalus, okay? So Daedalus is a desktop application that you'll download and it actually runs a full Cardano node powering the Daedalus wallet, okay? So the same Cardano node, for example, that we have running on our Aspen stake pool is also what is being utilized to power the Daedalus wallet, and it is equally fully synced to the network, just like a stake pool would be. Next, we have Yoroi. So Yoroi, instead of being a desktop application, is a uh, Chrome extension or a, a browser extension that you would install. They also have a mobile application that you can download. So again, it is now, it's something that you would download and install and would give you the option to uh, have something local that you can interface with, okay? It's not nearly as heavy as Daedalus because you don't have to, uh, one, the download's not nearly as big, and two, uh, the startup time for it is quicker, but uh, you have to run it through a browser. Then, the lightest that we have, and also the least featured, and this makes sense, right, is Adalite. So Adalite's a great little project uh, put together by a team, and basically this is if you don't want to uh, necessarily have uh, anything downloaded or installed, you have everything sitting on top of your, uh, sitting inside of your hardware wallet, and you just want a quick, clean interface so you can plug in your hardware wallet and just do some quick transactions, okay? Um, Adalite, like I said, is probably the, the least uh, featured out of all of them, but also there's nothing to install. It's literally just a website that you go to. All right, so those are our three, Adalite, Yoroi, and Daedalus. So let's dive in a little bit more into Daedalus, okay? So uh, actually what I will say is in terms of where to find these things, um, you can obviously go directly to their websites. For Daedalus and Yoroi, probably the easiest way is go to cardano.org, click on individuals, and you'd click on either Daedalus or Yoroi, and it'll go ahead and link you to those, all right? So let's take a look at them. So Daedalus here, how do they describe themselves? The open source wallet for ADA, built to grow with the Cardano blockchain. Let's see why that is. All right, so wallet features. So here, in terms of the three, right, the one that you would probably consider the most secure, granted, they're all, they're all very secure, but the most secure would probably be Daedalus. Why? It's a full node wallet, right? This means that unlike Yoroi and ADA Lite, it downloads a full copy of the Cardano blockchain and independently validates every transaction in its history, right? So it doesn't rely just on other nodes to do it. It independently goes and makes sure everything is syncing up. 
This way we get maximum security and completely trustless operation where we're not relying on anybody else to validate the transactions for us. Our data list node is actually doing it uh, independently. And there you go, without centrally hosted third party servers, okay? Uh, we can have multiple wallets hosted in data list. That's pretty cool. It's supported on all desktop platforms. Um, and I think probably that the, the biggest thing is that it's just a standalone application that you run on your desktop um, and there's there's no websites you need to go to. You don't have to involve the browser at all. Okay, so those are some of the the benefits of Daedalus. The biggest downsides for sure is the fact that because it is the heaviest client, you really feel that, especially as part of the install process. And let's take a look here so you can see what I mean. So if we go to download, okay, I was going to ask, uh, so here we would see uh, which platform we want to download it for. But if we go down here, supported platforms, here we go, recommended minimum requirements. You need four gigs of RAM to be running it, and you need 10 gigs of free drive space. And the reason for this is that the actual application itself is fairly large, but on top of that, it actually, uh, like, like I said, it actually pulls down a full copy of the blockchain ledger for the Cardano network. So it, it is a pretty heavy footprint on your computer. If you either don't have much space or you don't feel like taking up that much, then maybe that's a deal breaker for you on Daedalus. Um, but if you have the extra room anyways, and you'd rather have a desktop application, it may not matter to you. The other piece is that when you download the application and when you run it for the first time, because it needs to, because it is a Cardano node that is running on there that is constantly synced with the rest of the network, that syncing process does take some time. So the first time that you install it, the node is going to spin up and then it's going to basically like phone into the network and, and sync itself up to get fully caught up so that it is synced and in time with the rest of the network in terms of the blockchain transactions that are going on. The first time on install could take anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours depending on um, how far the, the uh, ledger has progressed in time and also the, uh, the power of, of your computer that you downloaded on. Uh, but additionally, every other time you load up data list, it's going to have to resync. So unless you leave it running in the background, which you may or may not want to do, because again, it, it is a pretty heavy program. Um, if you do close it and reopen it when you want to have access to it, it needs to resync each time. I've found that even if I go several days without doing it, it usually resyncs within five minutes or so. So it's really not that bad. But again, something to think about. It's not just something that just immediately like snaps on and is ready to work. So something to think about there, some, some pros and cons. When we look at Yoroi, okay, so Yoroi, um, one of their things, right, that you can immediately tell is the time and effort that they've put into having just a really nice, clean interface. And, and we'll see, they actually mentioned this, but let's see how Yoroi describes itself. As the gateway to the financial world, it is the light wallet for Cardano. Secure, fast, and simple. So uh, secure, high quality code, thoroughly tested. Well, I, I would hope so, right? Um, here we go. Private keys are encrypted and never shared with the servers or third-party providers. So that's good, but you kind of have to take their word for it, right? Um, so, oh, this is actually nice. It does not even implement any analytics. And when you go to install it, it will tell you clearly, like, here are the things we will never do. So there's no kind of tracking or anything like that. So, um, so for uh, privacy concerns, that's good. Fast. This is probably one of the best things about it. It's a nice middle ground between Daedalus and Adalite in that um, it does store some state for you in terms of what your wallet is and, and sort of keeps track of who you are, um, but it is really quick. When you, uh, to install it, you just add a browser extension, and then when you go to run it, it just pops up and it's ready to go. And it is very simple. Uh, here's the, the roadmap of, of what they've been through. Uh, you can take a look at that if you want. Technologies that it's built on, and actually, and, and also, uh, both Daedalus and Yoroi are built in direct collaboration with IOHK. Okay, so that's Yoroi. And then the last one is Adalite. So Adalite um, is, is by far the lightest of all three. That's a good name, right? Um, so it's definitely the lightest weight of all three. Uh, it, it is probably the least featured of all three. But that being said, the trade-off is that there's, there's no startup. It's literally just a website that you go to. Uh, you plug in your hardware wallet. You confirm it on your device, and then uh, you're ready to go. From a hardware wallet standpoint, you just say, I want to connect with my hardware wallet. You click unlock, and then that's it, and, and you're ready to go. So um, so pros, it's really fast. You can load it up from anywhere as long as you have your wallet on you. You don't have to download anything, right? Um, and, uh, and it's a nice, really simple, clean interface. Cons. Uh, there's no you know, account memory, there's no quick balance that you can glance at. So for both Daedalus and Yoroi, right, because 
they're actually stored on your machine and they do keep track of state for you. Um, you can have your, uh, your accounts are, are memoized on there so you can see your balances and see how things are going. Obviously, for security reasons, you can't actually sign any transactions without your hardware wallet being plugged in. So no worries there um, that it's showing your balances if it gets opened up. Because really, the whole point of the blockchain is everything is available publicly. So anybody could see your balances anyway if they knew your address. Um, but that's sort of a nice thing that Datalyst and Uroi has that Adalyte does not. But the trade-off is that Adalyte, like I said, is super light. Open it from anywhere. All you need to do is go to the website and plug in your hardware wallet. Now, in terms of uh, what we talked about before, if you don't have a hardware wallet, and what you're looking to do is you want to get your coins off of the exchange, you want to have full custody over those coins, but you don't yet have the time, money, or inclination to get a hardware wallet, to have a wallet that is created off of the 24 or 15 word passphrase that you would manage yourself, that's something that you would need to then do on either Daedalus or Uroi. So Adalite has support for that interface, but they don't actually create these wallets. They just support Yoroi or Daedalus's wallets that they create for you. And additionally, I would say that if that's the route that you want to go, definitely stick with Daedalus or Yoroi. I would personally suggest that Adalite should just be your go-to if you want a quick, clean interface to manage your hardware wallet. So there already is a pretty qu a quick division, right? If you have a hardware wallet and you're looking for an interface to manage it, all three are still on the table. If, however, you've not gotten your hardware wallet yet and you want to, in the meantime, have a wallet that is created for you off of an exchange, created from the uh, secret passphrase that only you know, Adalite then is off the table at this point and you're looking at Daedalus, Daedalus and Uroi. So let's go back and look at Daedalus and Uroi then for that. Both of, us, both of them would give us that option. So then you just need to choose between which of those two you prefer. Another thing that all three have in common is that all three are fully featured in terms of being able to send ADA, receive ADA, and delegate to a stake pool. Um, all three of them have the functionality to allow you to do that. Um, that being said, Daedalus and Uroi both allow you to explore pools and find them directly on their site. Adalite does not, and you'd have to go to a third party tool like Pool Tool in order to do that. Okay, so that's enough talking, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at these different options and, and just see how they feel. Uh, let's get a good feel for them. So let's start again with the heaviest one. We'll start with Daedalus. So I'm gonna open up Daedalus. Because it needs to fully sync, we need all these things to be checked off. It needs to be running. It needs to have the Cardano node running as well. It needs to sync up and the time needs to match. All right, so I opened this uh, a few hours ago. So we'll see it's 99.99% synced. Did you see that? It was, it was quick, but it was 99.99% synced with the network. And so I needed to do the final syncing, get its ledger fully up to date and then it can open up. It won't let you do any of the things until it syncs up. So keep that in mind, right? Like I had been using this only just a few hours ago and it still needs to catch back up to current time. Um, the longer you wait between usages, the longer that that uh, syncing takes. This is just my, my test wallet that I've used for, for several videos. Um, so we get to see the, the transactions here, just simple to see. Um, I can send and receive and see the history. I can go to the blockchain explorer here, sorry, the delegation center. Um, and I can pull up directly from Daedalus a list of all the stake pools. All right, starting to get some UI populating here. Okay, cool. So here we can see the list of all of the stake pools. We can see the one that I'm currently delegated to. Uh, we can see the list of all the other ones. We can search for stake pools by name. And I'll pop in at this point and say, uh, once you do get everything set up, if you enjoy the content that we provide here on the channel uh, and, and you enjoy the informative content that we try and put out for you, we'd really, really appreciate it if you would consider supporting us and delegating your ADA to our Aspen stake pool. As you can see, uh, it's just getting off the ground. Um, we'd really, really appreciate your help in getting uh, Aspen fully saturated. So uh, cool. So this gives us a pretty good feel for what Daedalus looks like. Um, if, uh, by the way, if you want a deeper dive into getting, so if you think Daedalus might be for you and you want a deeper dive into getting it installed, set up, funded, and delegating, we have a separate video for that that goes into all of that detail uh, from start to finish to get you set up on Daedalus. Okay, so let's close this because it's eating up some good amount of memory. And let's move on to Uroi. All right, so for Uroi, as I mentioned, it's a browser extension. So all I need to do is come here and open up Uroi. By the way, I'll mention, you would have noticed uh, in, uh, in Daedalus, uh, because I'd had it before, there's nothing for me to do, right? Um, it was, uh, like I said, it, it memoizes 
your account on there, and unless you need to do a, a sending or, or delegating or something that will require your private keys, you don't even need to have your hardware wallet on hand. Now, separately also, uh, same thing, if you had a Daedalus wallet created by Daedalus, um, you, they would hold the wallet for you that they created for you. You have your 24 word passphrase as a backup, but you would need your spending password to be able to, to spend um, or delegate. So now we've opened up Uroi. Uh, again, it remembered my account, so it opens everything back up. You see how it's uh, the same address, right? So all the information is the same. We're just doing looking at it in a different interface. Again, I can see my list of transactions, send, receive. Um, again, if I go to the delegations list, similar to Daedalus, it will pull up the, the network of pools and I can just pick one to delegate to. I can also search for a specific one. I have to click search. Here's our Aspen pool, really nice and clean. Again, also supports um, a wallet that they will create for you, a Yoroi wallet. This uses 15 words instead of 24. So again, that's another thing too, in terms of brute force attacking. Um, yeah, nice, clean, simple. We also have a deep dive on Yoroi on getting that installed, so check out that video if Yoroi is the route that you'd like to go. And then finally, the last one we'll look at is Adalite. So Adalite, like I said, I, I wouldn't recommend going the mnemonic route with Adalite. It should purely be if you want to be managing your hardware wallet. So for Adalite, as we said, there's no remembering of accounts or anything. Each time you come back, you'll need to sort of essentially revalidate. So I have my hardware wallet plugged in here. So I'm gonna enter my pin. Okay, so here we go. It sees it as paired. I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna confirm my public key export. Once again, public keys are shared. The private keys never leave the device. Okay. So again, same balance as we would expect. Um, here's my account overview. And uh, yeah, so very similar in terms of what it can do. But as I mentioned before, in terms of if you want to stake, there's no way for you to search pools here. We would actually have to go to a third party site like pooltool.io. And on pool tool, we would then select the pool we want to work with or search for the one we want to delegate to. You would copy it come back to Adalite and you would paste in the pool, okay? So that's really all there is to it. I wanted to make sure that you guys had an idea of actually seeing the UI. Uh, for some people, that makes a really big difference. You can see sort of the look and feel between them. Again, taking a step back, let's summarize what we've looked at. We've got the heaviest, which is dataless, uh, the most secure also, but the biggest footprint. The lightest over on the other side, you've got Adalite, where there's no footprint at all, it's just a website that you visit. And about that, make sure you're visiting adalite.io. And then right in the middle, we've got Uroi, which uh, is not nearly as big of an install as Daedalus, uh, but it does have some conveniences that Adalite does not provide. So you'll kind of have to balance that in your, in your mind. The other thing too, as we said before, you have to think about, are you using a hardware wallet? If you are, you can choose between all three and, and, and pick your preference. If you're going to have the wallet create uh, an actual full encompass wallet for you, you're gonna to wanna to choose between Daedalus and Uroi. So I will pause here and I'll ask you guys. I mean, those are the three that have been the most popular wallets for a very long time. Uh, but if you all have heard of any other good wallets that you'd like to share with the community, please comment them below and we'll look into them. Um, if it is something that seems like a, a valid project that's got some good stuff going for it, we'll be happy to cover it in a video here as well. Also, uh, anything that, uh, that you would like us to go over that we didn't cover, any additional features maybe about one of the wallets of your preferred wallet that you feel like we didn't do service to, please let us know. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, if you like the content that we provide and you wanna support the channel, consider delegating your ADA to our Aspen stake pool once you have everything all set up. So now you've seen all three. I told you, it wasn't really that bad, was it? So once you've picked your favorite, we have links to videos for all three below where it's a deep dive walkthrough and how to get it installed, how to get your ADA off of the exchange onto your wallet, and then how to find your preferred stake pool and delegate to them. You're almost there, I promise. We'll see you soon in the next video.